Hello. Many of you have commented, emailed, and asked about really how you should copy me. So you watch my videos and you want to know how I sign, how should you sign? Do you mirror it? Is it the opposite? Which one? So I am right-handed. I'm a righty, meaning I sign with my right hand. So that's this side, that's my right. So that means if you are a righty too, then you sign with your right hand, that one, that hand over there. My right hand, your right hand. If you're left-handed, use your left hand. So that means that if in my videos you're watching me and you're trying to learn to sign, you can mirror me. For example, the sign learn. I sign learn with my right hand doing the movement. My left hand stays there. So that's my left hand and my right hand pulls up that information. So if you're right-handed, use your right hand as well. Your left hand is down and your right hand moves. If you're a lefty, then do the opposite of that. Your right hand is down and your left hand moves. Now, there are different general rules that you can follow for signing with the hands. There are situations three. First, the sign itself has one hand and that's it. That's easy. Just use your dominant hand. So your dominant hand. Again, I'm a righty, so I sign with my right hand. For example, one-handed signs, happy, happy. I use my right hand. If you're a lefty, use your left hand, happy. Hungry, hungry, bored or boring. Search, search or look for, like, like. See? Second, there are signs that use both hands similarly. So that's easy as well. You use both hands and use them at the same time in the same movement. For example, the sign happy can be two-handed. Happy. Happy. Sad. Sad. Tired. Tired. Needing. Meeting or a meeting. Class. Class. Want. Want. So if both hands are moving in the same way, that's fine and easy. Use both hands together. Uh, third, actually, let's go back to the second. There are also some signs that use both hands in the same way, but in the opposite movement. For example, the sign movement. Movement. It's not in and out together. That's more like teach is a different example. Movement. Theater. Sign. See how the hands move oppositely? And that also tends to be easy. Both hands are moving just with the opposite simultaneous movement. In the third situation, the sign uses two hands, but the movement is different or maybe the hand shape is different. For example, that, the sign example. Different hand shapes. Example, so we have a one hand shape on my right hand and my left example. Help, help, 
see how the left hand is my non-dominant hand, and that tends to be the supporting hand. Help, show, example, picture. My left hand stays and my right hand moves. Picture. Film, film or film outward, <laughs> film, film. So my left hand stays, my right hand is the movement that shows where I'm filming. Filming you, film me, film someone else. Door, door. My left hand stays and my dominant hand moves. School. My dominant hand is on top. School. Learn. The sign learn. My left hand stays and my dominant hand moves. Learn. Similarly, study. My non-dominant hand stays and my dominant hand moves. Study. Some signs use either one or two hands, but the dominant hand tends to be higher up, and the weak hand, the non-dominant hand, is lower. For example, thank you. The sign thank you can be one-handed, that's fine. It can be two-handed, thank you. If they're both high, that's fine, but in normal conversational signing, it's more like this, thank you. Okay, so again, your dominant hand should be used. If it's one-handed sign, that's fine. Use your dominant hand. For a sign that uses both hands similarly, use both hands. For signs that use two hands at different ways, your dominant hand does the movement and your non-dominant hand is the supporting player. Okay, I hope that that helps clarify what you do and which hands you should sign with. Did you know that this question plus nine more beginner questions I answer on my website? It has all the answers for free. aslmeredith.com slash FAQ. So take a look and I'll see you soon. Bye.